we've come down the long and winding road to try another spot in our hunt for the elusive big fish. At a location which we will not tell you because we want to keep our honey hole secret. The secret honey hole. Can't be too secret because there's actually a walkway going down. But most people aren't venturing down here into the depths that we're going to. We're going to actually ford the great river across the rocks and our troop of professional fishermen will get over to a place we like to call the warm hole and we will bait up and proceed to catch fish with line or by hand. The scenic beauty is just marvelous. Ferns, subtropical rainforest conditions, and not to mention dangerous waters. The massive floods that rain down upon this area sometimes drag complete trees all the way down. Let's hope it doesn't drag Owala. Oh, We're down here where the water runs fast and furious. Walla says that's good. Yeah, when you see falls like this, it's really good for the, uh, for the fishing. Down here below the falls where the water's been oxygenated and the, and the fish get a good uh, gill full, you know, and they get big and they get feisty. A awful big worm you got there, Walla. It's yours. <laughs> This is probably exactly what this place looks like from 20,000 feet up in the air. It's like an aerial view of continents, shelves, currents. The beauty of this natural surrounding has not changed in thousands and thousands of years. The same plants, the same topography, the, wait a minute. Uh, that's not ancient. The shadow of a great fisherman. How's it look, Sun Perch? Sun Perch fishing the, uh, the fast waters. Looking for those highly oxygenated fish. A stronger, more violent fish. A river monster. Sweet cast. The shelf right here is known for holding big fish. Ryan's fishing the lower half. Ryan's on. So B. What was your technique on that fish? Well, I threw a worm out there, and as usual, with my worms, the fish just latch a hold of it. You know, my magic worm, I guess. You know, I just uh, aim for that little rock shelf right up there. Nice little 50-pound uh, bass just jumped right on my hook. Can't really keep, let me see your shirt. That's a great fishing shirt that you're wearing. This is the fishing shirt, dude. All right. Rocking, rocking the worm. Epoch. It was no easy task assembling this fine group of fishermen together, known by their fishing names of speckled trout, walleye, and sun perch. They came from the four corners of the globe, Middle Tennessee. Speckled trout leads the tournament so far with a largemouth. Fishing has been a little bit slow. The heat is oppressive, but that doesn't stop this group of men <laughs> as they continue to cast and cast and cast unknowing 
and in the unmerciful environment. It's important to have the best gear possible when fishing in these kind of situations. As you notice, Walleye is wearing very expensive river shoes. Could you lift your leg up, Walleye? Maybe. Without falling? Chucks with a smooth bottom. He says that he finds the slick surfaces actually a great comfort. His footing is so good. Oh, he's getting a bite down here, right close. Oh, he's in, I'm sorry, it wasn't a bite. <laughs> we call that a squirrel fish. Uh-oh, he's back in it. One step forward, two steps back, ladies and gentlemen. Moss. The scenery here in the uh, subtropical rainforest is beautiful. As Jeff goes down to get a quick shower, voila, freshening up for the second round. He's got one fish in his hand, in pocket. Well, not actually in his pocket, but you know what I mean. But still, right now, this man leads the contest with big fish and largemouth. What do you have to say about it? Hot. How's that water? It's great. You want to jump in? Are you getting in there? I'm going to have to try it. Dangers. I see it. Got something to say? <clears throat> don't, 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 don't. <coughs> uh, let me, I'm getting back in. I'm just putting my pole up. I gotta just I gotta get away from these guys, you know. I gotta be. It's not that I want to be alone. It's just I want to be away from those guys. I mean, you're out here for weeks on end, battling the big ones. And, you know, I mean, we've got a cl close bond, but sometimes it's just. I don't know. It's just too much. Sometimes up in these cracks you can, you can look really deep. Oh my god! Oh, what? Day 22. I'm telling you, uh, Brian's weak and he's, uh, he can hardly go on and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm, uh, I'm seriously considering eating him because I need protein and, uh, He's got what I need, and he's not going to make it. I mean, let's face it. There are people who survive, and there are people who don't, and that's just the way the world works. Don't touch me till I have gone to the edge. I might lose my head. Did I tell you about the fish I caught? It was this big, and its tail went just like this. See what I'm talking about? And we play a laugh song to the first part of the business. We got a seed one. Show you a seed one. 
one reason we like to get outdoors is to meditate, to reflect, to find ourselves. Until you go the wrong way. Okay, let's try the other way then. The rocks are extremely slick here. Whew. Once again, interesting geology. How's it going, Walla? It's going all right. Um, you know, we, we talked earlier a little bit about footwear, and that's why I've got these special shoes with the real uh, worn down, slick sole. But you know, sometimes even even the best shoes can't save you from from the uh, all the algae that's on the rocks, and, and you can see all around it. There's a lot of moisture, so there's a lot of uh, mold, moss. That stuff gets slick and. Uh, after after traversing the river down here, skipping over all these rocks, I managed to do the whole thing without getting wet, but I stepped one foot in, in right over here where it's real slick and I slipped and I hit this right there. Now it doesn't look like anything, but it's got a little marble size knot right there and, and, and I cut myself. A couple years ago I did the exact same thing and uh, wound up with a really bad staph infection. Um, I, for real, and I, I spent I spent um, about two weeks in the Montgomery County Hospital. That's why I only have two legs today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about your loss. Um, oh, okay. This is where he gets sad and walks off dejected. He does this sometimes. It's one of the things I was talking about earlier. These guys are they're very serious competitors, and because of that, they tend to have very egocentric personalities. He talked about it and he got upset and now he's gone. That's it. How do you feel about it? That he misses that third leg. Oh God. This guy's driving me nuts. Wimps. Can't catch any fish. I'm not sure what they're doing out here at all. They're really in over their heads. Sure, especially Rick. Yeah, right. Dangerously not stocked with fish. Is everything okay, man? It's been raining like this for... 48 hours. We're all going a little stir crazy. Um, we haven't been able to get out on the on the lake like we wanted to, and, and we know the big one's in there. And the big one's in there. We know it. He knows it. I'm coming for you. What do you think, man? Jeff's pretty down about all this. I ain't looking at your liver. Oh, here we go. <laughs> 7 a.m. and what? 7 a.m. and we're already, the tea party's already got us down. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't take long <laughs> in this, this economy. Brian loves tea party, don't you, Brian? Sorry, the who? Tea, tea party? Uh, I guess. It's a party, isn't it? Sure. All right, we're noodling today for a, a big mouth smart ass. I mean, a large mouth. Bass. Oh my god. Oh god, I got a huge one. This is a big one. This is going to be tough. Duck. 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 Goo. 
Ge geese. Duck, duck, geese. We're approaching for our second attempt to go up to the honey hole. We're going to see how it works out. Sean's going by. Playing that funky music that he listens to. Probably some kind of Afro Cuban mix. All right, getting down here to the kayaks where all the action's happening. As you notice, the lake is full of walleye trolling guys. Trolling for the walleyes. So we're not going to mess with the lake right now. Brian, looking dapper as usual. Gear loaded. Jeff entering. There they go. We've made it to the second destination. I'm going to bust my butt now on these rocks because it's very treacherous where we are today. One of the most treacherous fishing places in the entire southern United States. I've assembled a crackpot fishing team. Sun perch, crackpot, voila, and speckled trout behind you. We've come to fish this gorge which we'll leave unnamed because we don't want all of you stealing our sweet honey hole. But we're out here to catch some big fish. We really think there's some big fish here. Large magnificently huge it's like all those other shows on TV so we'll get back with you when Brian gets fish on Just like All joking aside, it really doesn't get much better than this. And this really is a place where some big fish could be. Now, if only could somebody could get one on. Nice cast. Okay, we're about to make our descent back out of the upper part. A few fish were caught. Jeff's in the kayak, ready to go. You said you had something to say? I want to say I'm Holly, and I love you, and Rick seems to be doubting my kayak skills, so uh, if this is the last thing that you see of me, the last time I was alive, I'm happy, and uh, I'm actually in the lead. We hope that nothing happens out there. Holly, everything seems to be okay. Sorry, I got a redder while I'm going here. Here we go. The adventure is real. The fish may not be, but the adventure is real. In the distance, you can see Somewhere in these waters is a really big fish. If I don't even catch him, I've caught this. It looks like an Andrew Wyeth painting. The swallows are up there. I don't know if you can see those. And the moon. There's Sean and Brian down there. This was once a popular beach. Water lovers and children frolicking around until the Great Bass Scare of 1991 when apparently a largemouth bass inhabited this place 
ate three small ducklings and a puppy. Since then, families have chosen not to come here. It frightens them. Last morning, fishing tournament, we have a lead, overall lead of 17 points. Pathetic. Voila. For we, three days of fishing. We have, uh, it's 7 10 in the morning. Brian's got second place with a hard 10 points. Do so you have 10 points? Well, big fish so far. Yep, I've got two points with two dinks. Sean's sitting on a goose egg. What are you planning on doing about that, Sean? Mm, I'm going to have to get some fish on. Yeah. For real. And here we go. Jeff is on. Slow! Strike. There we go. Nice. Large mouth. Going back in the water now. This ain't no lackey. Fish two. I'm making a run at the top. All right, we have action. Ah! That was the big fish of the day. A fisherman's well, disappointment. Pick up, get back up, stand up, and get right back in the fight, baby. You gotta shake it off. That's the second big one today I've lost on the jump. Alright, you don't always get second chances, but uh here we go. Let's see what he brings in this time. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, oh. Look at that, that's a pretty fish. Look how fat it is. There's big fish, people. Nice. How do you feel? I feel better. I've got, I've got some retribution on the two I lost. Nice strike. Now we're getting on them, finally. Not a, quite a river monster, but interesting. Jeff's on. You got a stringer? What do you say? You gotta just keep going. You gotta Hello. We're going to come back this afternoon and try the spot again. Time to eat lunch.
sometimes to get the big fish, you have to get in the water. You have to think like a fish. You have to breathe like a fish. And you have to eat like a fish. Sometimes, when you do this, and you get in their own environment, magic happens. And sometimes, your legs get real. This fishing's been slow, huh? But how is the scenery, really? It's incredible, except for the smell of the Clampett's motor. The Clampett's motor? Yeah, that's Could you elaborate on the Clampett's when we get back to the campsite? I'd be glad to tell you what I know of them, which is Could problem. you write a song about them at the campsite and perform it? Oh, well, it's going to be a long and tedious and repetitious song. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that what we've been doing? Yeah, I think we already wrote that one. So, uh... No, it's been it's been wonderful out here. In all truth and all honesty, um, we're having a good old time. Yeah. Uh, walleye, it's me. Uh, speckled trout over there. Let me do the pan with while uh, I wish you get a video of this. I'm. And what is Sean? I forget what his. Uh, Sun perch. Sun perch. What what are you? Uh, I gave something the big mouth yeah. bass. Milwaukee. Yeah, also known as Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Yeah, that's a beautiful sunset right there. Somewhere in these waters is a really big fish. How do you like the kayak experience, Jeff? I like kayaking. I don't like fishing in a kayak. Uh, I do like kayaking, but I kept, I'm kind of glad I'm not catching fish. Because I don't know what I would do when I caught it. <laughs> True enough. And I've got, I'm throwing a very big lure, so if I catch something... You'll know it. Yeah. You get pulled over in the middle of the river. Yeah, I don't want that. Even though I can swim just fine. Well, the truth I'm of the matter ready, is, the fish may not be real, the adventure is.